We put four reactors on one round table to talk about number one trends in five different categories. Can you guess the number one show on YouTube, the weirdest trend on TikTok, or the number one music video in the world? This is Top of the Month for May 2020. Roses are red, violets are blue. Somebody keeps getting sparkling water and I don't know who. <laughs> I feel kind of attacked because I am a sparkling water whore. I love sparkling water. Does Why did anyone... she call us oh, out Adam, like you that? Don't like it. You don't like sparkling as... water? I could go, I just run to the fridge and grab one now. Roses are red. This doesn't really flow. I said, whoever threw that paper, <laughs> your mom's a hoe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm very happy you're introducing me to it because I didn't realize Google was such a great songwriter. Roses are red. Pigs live in filth. Oh no. Just my mom's coming in today? Mm, milf. <gasps> <laughs> I like that one. I think that one was the best. I feel like Adam's feeling it on a different level and I need to get there. <laughs> oh my God, dude, I'm turning red from that one. That was too <laughs> funny. I'm just getting a kick out of Adam getting a kick. Like his laughter is contagious. This is the top meme that we've seen circulating this month. It's often referred to as the roses are red, violets are blue meme or challenge. What do you guys think? Is this a meme that you're on board with? Oh. Oh. Yeah, honey, we've been set sailed many moons ago. Next up is the top just overall trend on TikTok right now. Any guesses as to what that might be? Oh. I know like the wipe one has been really popular. Yeah. Oh, yes. I did it! <laughs> hey, I got Let's excited. Ready? Wipe, wipe, wipe it down. Wipe, wipe, wipe. I love wipe it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the wipe the challenge. I just saw one on Twitter that was like this this chick doing it, except like she didn't transition like when she wiped. She transitioned like when she was way up here, so it just like jumped and it's just like, okay, dude, you're missing the whole point, point of this. it. I've seen this wipe. one. Wipe. Get wipe it. it yes. Wipe. Get wipe. it. Uh-huh. Yes. Wipe it I've seen so many Harley Quinn ones. Has anyone tried it? No, but I, I was about to, to. I was thinking about it, except, you know, with me and TikTok, I try to make them absolutely perfect as they perfectly can be. Just trying to concept something that won't make me want to screw my head off. <gasps> what? Yes! An animal. Yes! A cat! It's like Wipe. cats. Wipe. Wipe it down. That's oh. really good, actually. Oh, okay, <laughs> bye. Wipe it down. Wipe. 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 Wipe it down. Wipe. Wipe it down. Wipe. Wow. 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 Deceased. Damn. Nobody can top it. <laughs> Cat's got attitude. That one won. Nobody can compete with that one. This is the top trend that we've seen this month on TikTok, and it is the wipe it, it down challenge, where people wipe a mirror to reveal themselves looking magically different, all to the tune of Wipe It Down by BMW Kelly. It's the perfect setup to something like unexpected happening, but also like a great transition. I don't know who started it. I never can find the original video of these right. like, very viral ones. And it's always some like super small creator. And then one of the famous ones takes it. Yeah, where is the OG? I always wonder that too. Like these are really great ideas, obviously, but is it like the TikTok team who's coming up with it? Or is it someone who's really like, oh, I have a TikTok idea. How would I just wipe, wipe, what? You know what I mean? Dude, you're spitting some conspiracy theories. They want the song that everybody is gonna use in their video. So obviously wipe it down by DM BMW, whatever his name is, is gonna be successful. Everyone's wiping it down. I play in a band, right? And part of my strategy when I'm writing songs is so they go viral. When I'm writing a song, I'm like, I wonder if that will be a TikTok trend. I wonder if that would be a, you know, Twitter trend or anything like that. And I'm actively thinking about that when I'm writing a song. Coming up next, guys, is the top music video right now. Know what it is? Watermelon Sugar, that's my top one. Oh. Is it Goob? 6 9 I tell it Oh. oh. This is okay. my first time seeing it. Didn't he just get out of jail? It's colorful. It's colorful. <laughs> um, <laughs> he should have released this for Pride. This is dying. I'm dead. I like his jacket and I like his braids and I like the set and the dancers look great for who they are, but I just don't know about him and his history with women. Mm. 
I wonder if his team was like, oh, the gays will love it because you're wearing rainbow. So it's a diss track. Classy writing. You're, you're, Again, you're, didn't he just get out of jail? That's the reason this video blew up the way it did is because he just got out of jail and then immediately put a music video out and everyone's like, what? That was 6 ix music video for his new song, Gooba, with over 200 million views at the time of filming this episode. This is not only the top music video of the month, it is also just the top video on all of YouTube in general this month. His like whole like fame and all his clout kind of reminds me of kind of like bad baby because like everyone like watches her stuff because they sort of like are curious but also like kind of hate her and their mentality is all publicity is good publicity you know what i mean whether it's good or bad it, your name is is now in people's mouths if you go viral then you actually do quote unquote have clout and then it has this whole like controversial i love him i hate him i love her i hate her and then that just like builds their name even more. Next up is the top internet challenge right now. What do you guys think it is? Internet Gosh. challenge. They make like some things like the wipe challenge. That's not a challenge, it's a trend. Like a challenge is like the cinnamon challenge. Do something hard. Pee your pants challenge. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 this no, isn't real. No, no, absolutely not. No, 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 no. It's not a challenge. Like, that's just gross. Pee your pants challenge. No, I don't. No! Want to. I don't want to see it. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, that's not. not something moving, why? Though. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many questions about that one. He's not like necessarily the most gross thing because it's sterile and technically you could drink it, but like still it's gross. All I'm gonna say is it looks like he had a hefty hose. So I'm not mad at that. Oh God. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why did he do How that to How is this allowed on TikTok? Yeah, no. I'm surprised TikTok hasn't taken these down. Like they're supposed to, they're big on like wholesome content and they ban a lot of stuff, but I can't believe Why they would you allow this. Why would you ruin your clothes like that? <laughs> oh gosh. Is that, she needs to drink more water. I've actually never come across one like on TikTok. So I don't. Me too. Maybe it's, I'm not in the right filter for it. TikTok kind of pulls videos to you depending on what you actively like. So maybe I'm just not liking enough urinating videos. This guys is the top challenge that we've been seeing more than we'd like to of this month for whatever disturbing reason. Why on earth do you guys think that people are participating in this? People are obsessed with like, Stupidity. Remember when Justin peed in the bucket and the whole world went ape and we were like, why would you pee in a bucket over a president's head? And he was like, I don't know, I'm young, dumb. And now we love him. So who knows? Maybe everybody in these videos will be like doctors or American Idol winners or something in the future. I hope not. I hope so. Just so this can like come up in their presidential race, be like, why did you pee your pants once? All right, guys, the last thing on our list is the top YouTube series right now. Any guesses as to what it could be? Maybe, maybe Instant Influencer. Hi, sisters. James oh. Charles. I knew it! Last Hi, week, I sisters! Started to find the ha! next beauty influencer. Oh, Bye. good like job, George. And we flew out the best of the best to compete in Los Angeles, California. Hello, you guys. Hi. For $50,000. It's been on my YouTube timeline, my Instagram timeline, my Twitter timeline, my Pornhub timeline. Anywhere there's Porn a timeline, hub. I've seen this. You're joking. I'll test their artistry, camera crazy. presence, and potential to be a beauty superstar. There'll be a few special guests. Oh yeah, honey, I hot. haven't watched this. Paris Hilton. That's hot. Yeah, we, we love, love my mom. How do we fire her if she's already on set? <laughs> Remember to blend, but don't blend in. Go! Just go big. Or go home. Three, two, love one. Love this script. We're done. I have no idea what this looks like. I honestly feel like you all owe me an apology. Drama. Some <laughs> missed the challenge a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I want to fight both of you right now. There'll be a ton of surprises but only one can become an instant influencer. But isn't this gonna make them all influencers, technically? To finish off our list, James Charles' new show, Instant Influencer, is currently the top YouTube series. Have any of you watched it? 
No. 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 I saw the, the ads were everywhere though. And the reason why it's popular is because James Charles was messy and he got the popularity from the messiness. And now he's James Charles up here and he still has those fans. The age range is probably like 12 year old girls up to maybe 22 year old women if they're basing it off of that. It's not just an influencer competition, it's a makeup artist competition. You have to be a good makeup artist to be on the show. That actually sparks more of my interest because I think there's more of like an artistic element, you know, cause makeup is so tedious and hard and it takes such a long time to develop the craft and be really good at it. So that's actually way more, like more fun for me to watch if there's like an actual like talent portion to a show. If it was a different setup, if he didn't have to rely on Paris Hilton, Trixie Mattel, and a majority of his other celebrity friends, I would be into it because I want to see a project that's fully him. It just doesn't seem authentic enough for me to tune in and engaging enough for me to say, wow, he's actually changing people's lives. He has had experience that he can teach them. Would this have piqued your interest if it was Trixie Mattel as the host oh, instead of James a Charles? a thousand percent. A Jeffree Star. Imagine Jeffree Star had this competition. Are you kidding me? Someone that you could actually learn from. Not that James doesn't have experience, but I would never run to him and say, hey James, I'm working on this. What do you think about it? Good for James, just not what I want to turn into. That is all the trends that we have for you guys today. But what did you Whoa. think? Were there any trends or challenges on this list that you would want to try and participate in for yourself? I want to do the wipe a challenge. That one just looks fun and you get to dress up and be goofy, so. I'm excited to see if George does it. Like, cause you were saying yeah. about the perfection of, of TikTok mm -hmm. and like you spend days on it. <laughs> I want to see what you can do with it. I'm like, the frame needs to be here. The transition <laughs> needs to be perfect. The song, the lighting, the look. It's like we're back in Hollywood, baby, but I'm Whoa! in my apartment. I honestly haven't really been on my phone or social media, so I don't really know much about what's going on in the internet. So this video was very informative. Yeah, it was so informative. Now I know there's a Peter Pants challenge. The world's a better place. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of liked life an hour ago before I knew that existed. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thanks for watching this trendy episode from our homes. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for new videos. Thanks for watching, bye. Hey guys, it's Sierra, producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for continuing to support our channel. If you're curious about some of the other things we have going on, then you should follow us on social media at FBE. Bye guys.